We're now going to talk about partial derivatives. So let f be a function of two variables, say x and y. We'd like to differentiate f. Now what does that mean in this context? In single variable calculus, if you have a function f of one variable x, then the derivative of f with respect to x measures the rate at which f changes as you vary x. Now here we have a function f of two variables, x and y, so we could measure the rate at which f changes as we vary x or y or both. So there is not one single derivative of f. Rather, there are two partial derivatives defined as follows. So definition, the partial derivative of f with respect to x, then we have to evaluate this at some point x comma y is, so it's denoted by a curly df over a curly dx. So this symbol here is a curly d, and I recommend drawing it from the inside out in this order, or this direction, otherwise it can end up looking like a 2. So it's not a 2, it's a curly d. Okay, so we have df dx, or partial f partial x, evaluated at xy, sometimes also denoted by f sub x at xy, is defined to be the limit, as h goes to 0, of f of x plus h comma y minus f of x comma y over h, if this limit exists. If the limit does not exist, then the partial derivative of f with respect to x is not defined at the point x, y. Okay, so what does this mean? So if we look at this expression, we see that y is fixed and only x is changing. So if we just covered up the y here and pretended it wasn't there, then this would look exactly like the usual definition of derivative of a function of a single variable. But now there's an extra y here, but it's always staying fixed. So we could describe this in words as follows. This is the rate at which f changes as we vary x holding y fixed. Let me draw you a picture to illustrate what's going on. So let's draw some axes. So here's a graph of some function f. So this is the surface z equals f of x, y. Now let's look at a point on the graph. So here's the point, say x comma y comma f of x, y. Now what we're basically doing in partial derivatives is looking at the slope of this graph. But we're looking at the slope of the graph in a particular direction. So let me draw a curve here. So this red curve, this is the part of the graph where y is fixed and only x varies. So it's a slice of the graph by a vertical plane where y is fixed. And then that intersects the, that vertical plane intersects the graph in this curve. What we're doing is we're looking at the slope of this curve at this point. So we're looking at the slope in the x direction. So we move a little bit in the x direction and see how much z goes up. To calculate the approximate slope, we take the limit as that z displacement goes to zero, and that's the partial derivative. It's a slope of the tangent line to this curve. So to say that more mathematically, we can fix y, and we can define the function g of a single variable, x, by g of x equals f of x, y. 
then the partial derivative of f with respect to x at xy is the ordinary derivative dg dx evaluated at x. Right, so this red curve, this is, you can think of this as the graph of g. Um, namely, it's the set of points where z equals g of x and y is fixed. And we're looking at the slope of this graph. Okay, now since the partial derivative is really the ordinary derivative of a function of one variable, that leads to the good news about partial derivatives, which is that they're very easy to compute. Namely, to compute partial f partial x, you regard y as a constant and differentiate with respect to x. For example, suppose f of xy equals x cubed plus y to the fourth plus x squared y. Okay, so to calculate partial f, partial x, well, we differentiate using the sum rule, so we'd first differentiate x cubed, and that's 3x squared. And the next term, we differentiate y to the fourth. Now, since y is acting as a constant here, the derivative of this term is zero. And then for the third term, I have x squared times y, and again, y is like a constant, so we get 2xy. Isn't it great how easy that is? Okay, now there's also a partial derivative with respect to y. So we define partial f partial y at xy is the limit as h goes to zero of f of x comma y plus h minus f of x comma y over h. As usual, if this limit exists. Otherwise, it's not defined. And this, in words, is the rate at which f changes as we vary y holding x fixed. And going back to the picture, so we can draw another curve on here, which I'll draw in blue. It looks something like this. So this is the intersection with another vertical plane where x is held fixed and y varies. And then the partial derivative with respect to y is the slope of this curve at this point, x comma y comma f of xy. Okay, now as a practical matter, to compute the partial derivative with respect to y, you regard x as a constant and differentiate with respect to y. So in our example here, for this particular f, what's the partial derivative with respect to y? Well, so first we differentiate x cubed, and now x is acting as a constant, so this derivative is zero. Then we differentiate y to the fourth with respect to y, so by the usual single variable rules, that's 4y cubed. And finally, we differentiate x squared y, and since x squared is acting like a constant, that gives us x squared.